O.J. Simpson. We turn to ABC's chief legal affairs correspondent, Dan Abrams. Dan, thank you for joining us. Of course, you covered the trial. Just take us back to that case and really the sensation that it became. There has never been a case like it, and there won't be a case like it again. Um, this was a case where you had someone who was one of the most famous people in America before the case being tried with murder, for murder. Now throw in race, domestic violence, L.A. at a volatile time, celebrity, and you had a nine-month trial that riveted the country. And when, when, I, when I say riveted, literally people were following every moment of the case for nine months. And at the time, there was only two places you could watch it. There was no internet, there was no live streaming. It was either CNN or Court TV where I was working. There were people selling t-shirts and they were selling mm. hats and they were selling watches uh, where the second hand was a Bronco being chased by police. There was a jello mold of the judge's face. There were hats being sold of random participants in the case. What do you think that the trial's lasting influence will be, uh, both for the legal community as well as media? Well, look, I think it led a lot of people to lose some faith in the justice system. I think a lot of people who watched the case were entirely convinced, as I was, that O.J. Simpson was guilty. But when you take that case and you combine it with the civil trial, people forget that he was also then tried in a civil case where he testified. And there he was found responsible for the killings. And so you take those verdicts together, and it's somewhere, two juries determined it's somewhere between 51% to 90-something percent certainty uh, that O.J. Simpson uh, did it. I think that when it comes to cameras in the court, media coverage, there's been a lot of talk about the O.J. Simpson case. I don't know that it fundamentally changed things, and here's why. Because I do think this case was different. Uh, I have covered hundreds of cases where there's been a camera in the courtroom, and there hasn't been one where the lawyers and the judge were as focused on that camera as in the O.J. Simpson case. So while people cited it in the immediate aftermath of the case, I think as time has gone on, people have realized that it was an outlier when it came to what happens when there's a camera in court. And the trial, of course, as you just uh, mentioned a little while ago, brought about some, some serious racial divides to the surface as well. It, what happened there? Because it wasn't just that O.J. was black and his two victims were white, but you also add into the mix Mark Furman, that, that LAPD detective yep. who had some questionable practices as well. And, and I think if you were to ask me, what was the seminal moment in the case? What was the most important moment? It was not O.J. Simpson trying on that glove, as many people like to say. It was exactly what you just brought up. It was Mark Furman. It was his past racism. And I think that that gave the jurors something to hang their hat on, meaning the defense's theories never really made sense. It was this idea that, it, that at one hand, the police were these criminal masterminds who were able to plant evidence in the most exacting way possible, and at the same time were the most inept folks who couldn't handle evidence properly. And there was never an opportunity for the planting of evidence, et cetera, but it wasn't even the minutia that it came down to. It was just the big picture sense that to many, the police have been unfair to us in the past. And look at this guy, Furman. And over the years, you've also stayed in touch with the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. What have they told you? Look, I think that today is probably a sense of closure uh, for them. O.J. Simpson being out there, O.J. Simpson being on social media, O.J. Simpson's lawyer making fun of the process, I think has just made it all a little bit more difficult. And I think that today um, that ends. So for them, it will provide, you know, a, a, a little sense of closure. 
ABC Chief Legal Affairs Correspondent Dan Abrams, thank you so much for your time and insight. Appreciate it. Sure thing, Lizzie.